equals TD. I'm taking, so today we're going to speak about three factors that determine how much you invest. Now, most people have access to money, some others don't have access to money. Um, how much you invest is a kind of a tricky subject for those that have access to money. For those that don't have access to money, it's not so tricky, they have what they have. So, three main factors that will determine how much you invest if you have money are the first factor is your goal. So, what do you want to achieve? Do you want to buy a boat? Do you want to buy a car? Do you want to buy a house? What is your aim in investing? Do you want to invest for the future, for your kids, for your family, for your loved ones? Do you want to, have, want to be a long term investor? That's kind of like your side also. So that, that's very key, your goal. What are your circumstances? Your circumstances kind of affect your goals, but mostly state what your goals are. Make sure you know what your goals are before you start investing. Just don't start investing without having a target, basically. Second factor that I want to speak on, on that determines how much you invest, is basically how much you have access to. So if you have access to lots of loans, lots of finance tools, it's going to be easy for you to invest, but it's best for you to see how much you have access to. Your access also is determined by your savings as well. So how much you have access to will determine how much you can invest as well. The third factor that will determine how much you can invest is basically if you have your goal set, if you have some access to money, the third factor that will determine how much you invest will be your state of your emergency fund. So basically what I'm trying to say state of emergency fund is how big is your emergency fund? The issue with the emergency emergency fund is sometimes you get into problems while we invest and we don't want to dive into the investment. I spoke on this before, dive into the investment to solve these problems. So it's best for us to have a healthy emergency fund or healthy savings. So three factors, basically, what your goals are. Second factor is how much you have access to. Third factor is what is the state of your savings or your emergency fund. Uh, what, this may seem kind of simple, but some investors that have money don't know how much to put in. Maybe they say they have $100,000. They don't know how much to put in the market. I think if they sit back and write what, is goal, what their goals are, write, um, or, and kind of check their emergency funds and see what their savings are, and then write how much access they have to other funds if they invest the entire portfolio or the, the entire money into a new portfolio, they will be able to kind of find a direction. So it's best to have a clear view when you're investing. It's best to know what you have now. Why this topic is important, why this tip is important is when you invest small amounts of money, you basically yield small amounts of profit. So for long-term investors that want to invest for 5-10 years, small investments may pay off. Short-term investors that are looking to invest for one year may need more capital. So this plan is very helpful for you to strategize, and find out what your access is, what your goal is, and how much you have in savings for your emergent needs, and then go straight into it. If you like this video, thanks for being here. We hope you watch some more of our stuff. Cheers. See you next time.